Welcome back everyone! Today's tutorial is for Sansa's final Game of Thrones hairstyle worn in Season 8, the last season of the show. I like this style a lot because it's elegant on the surface, but has so much extra depth to it as well in that it ties together several braid elements from her whole character arc. This style is the visual representation of Sansa ultimately realizing her potential, so let's try it out! Start with your hair parted down the center and brushed free of any tangles. Now on each side of your head, draw a part running from about two-thirds of the way back along your center part, down to behind your ear. Make a section like this on each side of your head, and either use clips to hold them out of the way for now, or tie them together under your chin to keep them separate from the rest of your hair. Next, collect up the free hanging hair at the top back of your head. This should be roughly half of the hair you have back here, or maybe a little bit less than half. Split off one third of this hair, and also clip it out of the way for now. With the remaining hair in your hand, split in half and rope braid. This means twisting each strand clockwise, then twisting them together counterclockwise. Twist the strands again individually, twist together, and so on down the length of the hair. Keep going all the way to the ends, and then use a small clear hair elastic to tie the ends secure. Release the other third of hair now, and make a normal three strand braid with this hair, weaving the outside strands over the middle strand in an alternating pattern all the way to the ends. Again, use a small clear hair elastic to tie the braid off. Now we will form these two braids into Sansa's bun. First, coil up the rope braid into a horizontal, oblong bun at the top back of your head. As you coil it up, use bobby pins to pin it in place. Place bobby pins every quarter of the way around the bun or so to keep it secured. To hide the bobby pins as you place them, hook hair from underneath the section of the braid you're pinning and push in. Getting some bobby pins to cross each other underneath the bun will also keep things more secure. Keep coiling up and pinning your braid into the bun. If your hair is particularly long, you can make the bun stand out more from your head by laying some of the braid over the top of the middle of the bun and pinning in place there. Once you reach the end of the braid, tuck it and the elastic holding it under the bun to hide them and pin in place. Now grab the three strand braid and wrap it around the outside of the bun. Again, use bobby pins to hold this braid in place. Keep wrapping until you get to the ends of the braid, and also tuck and pin these under the bun to hide them. This is the first hair element that harkens to Sansa's past. This is exactly how Cersei did her buns when Sansa was in King's Landing learning politics from her. Sansa always survived by being a social and cultural chameleon, and she still carries the influence of King's Landing with her. The next chapter of Sansa's life that we can see as an element in her style are the two side braids we'll make next. This is a northern hair element, which can be seen in French and lace versions on Sansa way back in season 1, and when she's back in the north in seasons 6 and 7. To do these, release one of the clip side sections. Pick up a small amount of it along your forehead hairline, and split into three sections. Begin Dutch braiding by adding in a small amount of new hair to an outside strand, weaving it under the middle strand, adding in new hair to the other outside strand, weaving it under the middle strand, and so on. Keep Dutch braiding this way until there's no more hair from the side section to add in, and then finish the braid normally to the ends. Make another Dutch braid like this on the other side of the head with the other side section as well. Two braids like this fulfill the northern cultural element in Sansa's look, but the fact that they're Dutch is a little different than what she's worn before. Dutch braids are more of a Daenerys element, which tells us that again, Sansa is always learning and always adapting to the political forces around her. The style influence from Daenerys is further evident in what we'll next do with these Dutch braids. Bring them together at the back of your head right underneath the bun, and tie them together here with a small elastic. You can either choose a black elastic to mimic the black string Sansa uses in some scenes to tie these braids, or you can use a clear one for hiding underneath a decorative hair bead, which can be seen in Sansa's hair in the Season 8 Crypt trailer. Whichever you choose, release the rest of the braids below this hair tie 
and braid that tail of hair into one larger braid running down your back. Tie off the ends with another elastic and then slide on your hair bead up to the top elastic if you're using that. This tied under a bun and bead secured style element is how Danny often wore her hair in season 6. Sansa's soft spiral waves in the remainder of her hair is also reminiscent of the wave pattern in Danny's hair. So there you have it, Sansa's season 8 hairstyle. This is why Sansa's hair has always been my favorite in Game of Thrones. It may not be as iconic as Daenerys or as intricate as early Cersei hair, but it has so much depth and meaning, and it's been a real pleasure to watch it evolve alongside the character the last nine years. I will miss this show. If you're also not ready to let go of Game of Thrones hair just yet, I have a ton more tutorials on this YouTube channel, Sivu Plates, or my website, sivuplates.com. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.